Welcome, my friends. Today, I would like to show you how you can build the following report page in Polarion. So, whatever you type in here, uh, whatever Polarion query you type in here, and you hit the apply button, you will find that the list view and the trend chart and the status pie chart is updated according to the query which is entered here. So, um, it is also possible actually, by the way, to provide here drop downs for the queries. So, this is sometimes easier for the end user. If you want to know how this works, please have a look at my other videos. Let's get started. I have prepared a little uh, live report page with the headings already. And so, let's fill it for now. Uh, first thing we need is to define the dynamic piece of our report. This is a page parameter. And in our case, we want to have a string one. We name it query. The ID is also query. We could provide here a default value. So uh, if you think about having like a default uh, part in your text box, that's the place where you would like to do it. So that's it. Um, the parameter and the default value is defined. And now we want to um, add the widgets uh, with uh, which we can customize or uh, which visualize more or less uh, the data. Right, so we need the page parameter. The page parameter widget is the piece where user can enter the values. If we don't add it, uh, users will not be able to enter any text box. Then we have the list. This is a table block, right? Then we have a little trend chart. There are several ones. I'll take this one um, with one line for now. And we want to have a pie chart. Uh, in this case, we use the separate by because we would like to separate by status. And that's it. Let's save it and have a brief look what we have now. So you see, we have these four widgets. Um, here, the page parameter widget in which we can enter. And we have the other threes. However, the other three do not know anything about the, the value here. You see, they just display whatever they want, or more or less what's inside the database. And uh, that's not what we want. So we have to teach these guys here um, to query for the following uh, query, which is provided here on top. And that, that's actually quite easy. Um, the only thing you need to do, it's two things. Uh, so it's not one, it's two. Uh, first thing is switch to Lucene and velocity. And then you need to add a little trick here. And that's the page parameters class or object. Then we ask for the query parameter. And then we ask for the value of the query parameter. And that's the whole trick. So page parameters, name of the parameter, or more or less the ID, the ID, that's important. And then value. If the value, if you don't provide any uh, value, the whole thing will be empty. The query will query for everything which is in the database. All right. And now let's just, let's just do the same for all the others here. So for the trend chart and for our pie chart. Apply, close, a save, and let's see. Let's try it again. Type system requirement. And there we go. So you see the table is adjusted, the trend chart is adjusted, and the pie chart is adjusted. That's all I wanted to show you for today. And uh, please have a look at my other videos. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.